All right, number 16, Jay and Blair went fishing. Lucky Jay and Blair. Together they caught 27 fish. Jay caught two times as many fish as Blair. How many fish did Jay and Blair each catch? Write an equation and solve. Okay, so how many fish did Jay and Blair each catch is the question we want to answer. Our numbers we're working with are See, they caught 27 fish together. Uh, Jay caught two times as many fish as Blair. So this is the one where we make the bracket on the outside because they gave us the total, the total that these uh, boxes are gonna be. So let's write J first. Jay caught two times as many fish as Blair. We don't know what Blair caught. We're gonna put N, but whatever N was, Jay caught two times as many. So when we took three times N, we got 27. So we need to ask ourselves, what times n equals 27? I'm sorry, what times three equals 27? Three times mm, nine equals 27. There you go. So our n is the same as nine. So everywhere we have an n, we can now put a nine. So this is a nine, this is a nine, and this is a nine. So Blair caught how many? Nine fish. Jay caught nine plus nine or nine times two, which is, I'm gonna put that in parentheses, 18 fish. So if we add nine plus nine plus nine, do we get 27? Yes, so that checks. Okay, number 17. At the pet fair, Darling's dog weighed five times as much as Leah's dog. Together, the dogs weighed 48 pounds. How much did each dog weigh? Complete the bar model, write an equation, and solve. So we're gonna find out how much did each dog weigh. Our numbers are gonna be, Darling's dog weighed five times as much as Leah's dog. Together they weighed 84 pounds. So this bracket is our together bracket. So our 84 will go here because it's telling us that these two uh, amounts combined is 84. All right, so Darlene's dog is the one that weighed five times as many as Leah's dog. Okay, so we don't know what these numbers are, so I'm gonna faintly write an N so we can come back and write our actual numbers a little darker. So what we got, then our equation will be N times, how many boxes do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. N times six is the same as 84. All right, so we need to think for a minute what times six gives us 84? Hmm. Well, I know six times 11 is 66. I know six times 12 is 72. Let me do some math. If six times 12 is 72, then six times two is 12. That's 84, so that'd be 12. So that's 14. 
14 times 6 is the same as 84. So N is the same as 14. So now in these boxes, I can put 14. So Leah's dog weighed 14 pounds. Darlene's dog, did I spell that right? I want to make sure. Yep. Weighed. One, two, three, four, five. We have to take 14 times five. My 14 in expanded form. Five, that's five with one zero. Five times four is 20. 50 plus 20 is 70. Wow, Darlene's dog weighed 70 pounds. And PDS is an abbreviation for pounds. Give you a minute to catch up. Okay. Use the distributive property to model the product on the grid. Four times 12. So I need to go four, I'm sorry, 12 across, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and four down, one, two, three, four. Twelve times four. That's hard to do in my head. So can't I do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten? And two? Because isn't ten and two the same as twelve? So four times ten, four times one is four with one zero. Four times two is eight. My partial products added together are 48. So four times 12 is 48. And believe it or not, that completes our math videos for our test review. So like I said, um, our test will be tomorrow and the questions will be exactly like these questions. The only difference is the numbers may change. Good luck.